The Bible tells the story about a religious man named Nicodemus. One night he visited Jesus. Jesus told him a very interesting statement that we all need to pay attention to. I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. This amazing statement naturally confused Nicodemus. So he asked Jesus, How can a man be born when he is old? Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus' response was still a bit confusing. I tell you the truth, he said, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Most people have a desire to go to heaven when they die. But how can we be sure? What must we do? What did Jesus mean by being born of water and the Spirit? Well, the New Testament teaches us the answer to these questions. Simply put, those who have put their full trust in Jesus Christ as their sacrifice for their sins are those who have been born again. We all were born once physically via the water of our mother's womb. But Jesus told Nicodemus in the same conversation, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, to be born of the Spirit means those who believe in Jesus, in His sacrificial death, and in His physical resurrection, are those who are born again. In another place in the New Testament, it says, Yet to all who received Jesus, to those who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. Interestingly, although many people don't understand this, Jesus was telling Nicodemus he couldn't be saved by his nationality. Nicodemus was a Jewish religious teacher. He was a good man by the standards of his day. He was a descendant of the people God had chosen through the prophet Abraham. Yet Jesus said that this was not enough. Our ethnicity doesn't determine whether we have eternal life. Our religious background does not either. Neither do our good works. In a letter to followers of Jesus, one of his disciples wrote, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So Nicodemus could not be born again by his nationality, religion, or birth, but only through his faith in Jesus. But what does it mean to believe? Many people say they believe many different things. But how do we have faith that saves us from our sin and grants us eternal life? Again, the Bible has the answer. It teaches us that we should first repent. Repent means to change our hearts and minds and go in a different direction. It means that before we did what we wanted to do, we were our own masters. It means that we stopped trying to work our way to God because no amount of prayers or religious acts will save us. Next, we believe. This means we turn from our sin and turn to Jesus. Our works don't save us, but His work does. He was the perfect Lamb of God who gave His life on the cross. He was sinless, and He fulfilled the requirements of the law for us. His perfect blood is what washed our sins away. His life for our life. His blood for our blood. His resurrection from the dead three days after He died is what bought us eternal life with God in heaven if we accept His free gift, if we trust Him with our lives. Finally, we confess or declare that Jesus is Lord. This means we make Him King of our lives. Because God created us and bought us with the blood of Jesus, He now has full ownership of us. Therefore, those who are truly born again will confess that He is Lord 
and that He is the only way to God. The Bible explains the process of repenting, believing, and confessing like this, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. If we have repented, believed, and confessed in Jesus, we have been born again. We are His children, and God is our Father. This is something we can be assured about, not something we have to wonder about. One of Jesus' close friends and disciples put it like this in the Bible. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son Jesus. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Have you repented, believed, and confessed? If so, you are now a child of God and have been born into His family, a family that spans the ages and that you can be a part of right now.